Tales from the Crypt, Season 5, Episode 2, As Ye Sow? Is that, that's exactly what it's called, As Ye Sow. This one starts out with the intro, and then the Crypt Keeper segment. He's like a... Uh, like a Frasier type, I guess. He has a he's a doctor with a radio show answering questions. And then we get into the story. It stars uh what Hector Elizondo. Probably don't know the name. If you saw the face, you'd be like, Yeah, I think I kind of know that dude. And then you'd hear the voice, you'd be like, Yeah, yeah, okay, but I can't remember what he's been in. I know him, but uh, I don't know what else he was in. And there's a special appearance by Batman. So in this one, old Hector thinks his wife's cheating on him. He hires Batman to go find out if she is. And he's just like, no, it's your wife. Your wife's clean. She's not fucking and sucking anybody else. So, uh, sorry. <laughs> no, I should be like, good good for you. But old Hector, he's looking. He's just like, oh, I know she's, I know she's fucking doing something. God damn it. So he's like fucking pissed that his wife ain't doing shit. <laughs> so he goes to this other dude. Long story short, dude's just like, hey, yeah, your wife's fucking a priest. <laughs> so he's all pissed off and shit he goes to talk to this priest to, you know just to get a feel for him to see if this new private eye was fucking with him or not but god damn hector's so, so full up with cum and just getting all cum nuts that he doesn't know what's gonna happen why he didn't just go whack off and then fucking feel shameful about it afterwards i don't know but um yeah, he's just he's just so full of cum and going crazy that uh he sees his wife talking to the priest. He's like kinda hiding looking and sees his wife talking to the priest, and then they each go into a confessional booth, which you know, I I don't think you're supposed to see the priest on the other side. You guys just each casually walk into the confessional, you know, he could have just sat and talked about it on one of the benches or something, but they do that. And he just, he imagine he imagines them having a fucking suck party in there. So he's just going, Oh God damn it. I know it. So he goes back to the private eye and again, long story short, private eye. He's like, give me some money, pay some guys to fucking uh, kill this priest. And you won't have to worry about shit anymore. So he says, fuck it, does it, gives the money, has second thoughts about it, goes, uh, it's too late, everything's already in motion. So uh, he's just, he's so full of fucking cum, I guess he didn't, I thought now, you know, I originally thought he was going to call off the hit, but I guess thinking about it now he wanted to go kill the priest himself so uh he goes fucking to the confessionals you know ready to stab a priest but uh just then he sees his wife coming in so he hides in the confessional pretends he's the priest in the wait with the weef the wife's oh i've been a i've been a terrible wife and not performing my wifely duties a uh, Fucking and sucking. Well, well, my child, why haven't you done that? Oh, it's because, but oh, but she was saying it like this because she was an Irish lass. I'm not going to do it anymore because that was the worst fucking accent ever. But, <laughs> God damn. <laughs> But uh, she was like, oh, yeah, my mom got pregnant and uh, she died giving childbirth or something. And it's just like, well, you know, that's that's a fluke. And you didn't die. She 
she had you. So she's like, oh, I've just been scared that, you know, if I had sex with my husband, I'd get pregnant and the baby and I would die. And he's just like, oh, that's it. You're not blowing this priest. It, oh, I was going to say something fucking hilarious, but mm, YouTube and all. There's just some things you can't say. <laughs> but anyways, he said, oh, I'm so happy. Ah, oh, let me hug you. And just out of the shadows, Miguel pops up because he's the hitman that the private eye hired. And uh, old Hector's like, oh, no, I'm the guy that hired you. Don't shoot me. I'm her husband. And he says, eat shrimp, you fuck, and plugs them full of lead, which, what a terrible hitman. He just knew he had to kill a priest. The guy didn't show him a picture or anything like, hey, this is the fucking guy that you have to kill. He looks like this, not like a completely different fucking guy, but he looks like this guy. <laughs> like, for this logic to make any sense, the fucking... The dude just said, hey, go to this big-ass church and kill a priest. Here's some money. Tales from the crypt. And then the crypt keeper comes back. He's like, oh, my shift here is done. Sticks his wiener in an electrical socket, gets shocked, and then turns into Howard Stern, complete with a racist, fake Jewish nose, and says something about sucking dick because he's edgy and cool. And then we get the fuck out of here. It was all right. I always remember this one. Uh, no gore effects or monsters or nudity in it but it's a tales from the crypt episode that's again not from the actual tales from the crypt comic so yeah it was it was another one but you can always head on over to dwnproductions.net check out my masks bus props custom work all that good stuff maybe you want something custom made and Maybe I can custom make it for you. Then head on over to fastcustomshirts.com. Hundreds and hundreds of t-shirt designs, all well beyond reasonably priced. And it's in the name. If you want some custom shirts, hit them up. Why am I saying hit up Fast Custom Shirts? Because every Monday right here on this channel or at boygob.com, you can check out the podcast that I do with T-Shirt Joe of Fast Custom Shirts, where we talk about the movies we watched that week. So if you sat around this long, you might as well check that out, too. Or don't. It's your life. Live it. <laughs> All right, then. Boy, Gob.